Hi guys, Joseph here, and today we're gonna explore the new Gen 4 LCDs, especially its GPIO capabilities. Now there are many things you could do with the LCDs, but for this video, we're gonna try and turn the Gen 4 into a simple water level sensor. For this project, the following items are used. If you currently don't have the Gen 4 LCDs on you right now, you can buy them at our website or with our distributors. The Workshop 4 Pro is the IDE used for the project, with VC Genie as the environment. Using Pro enables the VC Genie to use magic codes. This adds to the capabilities of the LCD, like acting as a standalone device. Now let's start loading the code into the LCD. Connect your Gen 4 to the PC. Make sure your LCD is connected to the right COM port. Then simply click on the copy and load button. This will compile and load the code into your Gen 4. And you will see the LCD similar to that of the YC width area. You may see the PC asking for an SD card. This will save the images used in the project. Now for the demo, I went ahead and assembled this water level circuit from the circuit diagram. The jumper wires are located according to the desired water level and will act as a switch to the display. While the tank is empty, the tank widget will display an empty value as well. For the first level, the tank widget is set to display 10% of its value. And for the second level, the tank is programmed to show 60% of its value. While for the third and last level, the tank is set to display 90% of its max value. If you are using the pro version of the workshop, you can see that you can use the magic event codes. This allows you to insert 4 DGL codes into your Genie project. There are 3 pin widgets used for the project. And they are set to activate the magic events whenever they are toggled. With every change in input, the inserted magic codes will activate and will change the widgets and objects in the project. And that's it for the water level project. Hope you had some fun while watching. Stay tuned as we create more fun stuff you could do with the Gen 4. Please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.